Hi, the topic we are going to discuss here is what's new in 18.10? Well, people who are beta testers already know and everybody can read it. It's a website. You follow this link beta and you have here the three ISOs. Arc Linux, XFC Open, B, Open Box and i3. Arc Linux D is the bare one. And Arc Linux B is you build something yourself. Now, I'm open on the Arc Linux beta edition. And for me, there are three major things I've done in September. One, I've made a video about two new websites. Building websites, maintaining websites takes time. And they're there. So Arc Linux B is new and Arc Linux ISO is new. Second thing we did, that's the thing I did first, that was investigate the ISO itself, the packages list. What drivers do we need? So if we go all the way back and then scroll back up, so what I did first is check out the Calamares configuration. What elements do I need for Calamares? What do I need to install afterwards? So people who are new, Calamares is our graphical installer. That's what kicks in when you install uh, any of our uh, desktops. So we were thinking, what can we change in that respect, in the Calamares configuration, but also in the drivers? And that's a little bit up here somewhere. In the drivers, we've taken a look at, hola, where is it? A lot of elements, might be even be in the other pages. Article Linux D, let's take a look here. Here we see removed packages. So we have added some packages in the x86 environments and video, etc. We've said, okay, not these packages, not these packages, and so on. That's, that's one major thing we've did, done, analyze what's on the ISO. And then you see here that we skipped, or we stopped using group content, meaning you can type sudo pacman minus s xfc4 and you get all of this. It's dumped on your system. This is called a group. And there's another group like xfc4 goodies and it dumps you all this on your system. Now some elements, some... Um, systems we don't want that right if you're on xfc that's all fine but if you're an open box i3 psp wm plasma you don't need these right so we've um, eliminated the group content and we started using every little application there is and if every little plugin there is so all of this has been done as well always thinking okay do we need it um can we get rid of things? So it's thinking more minimal. Thinking, okay, this needs to go out. This can we don't need to install this. If it's a driver or an application for XFCE elements, we don't need. We kick it out. So that's the major uh, one of the major things we've done. It took, of course, a lot of time testing to see uh, does it work. Um, have we now eliminated too much? So these elements. Um, need to be checked and checked and checked again so we have here from here it starts all the calamares elements and let's go up to all the rest since we've built and uh, that's another topic that's the minimal menu from article linux b open box minimal so making a new iso a new thinking process and the thinking process is actually saying okay Let's make an Arc Linux B, like we always do, right? But this time a minimal one. Let, let's this time think and say, what do we need, really? Just one browser, okay. One editor, okay. And so on. And this for five uh, ISOs. So you'll see that it's uh, 1.4, 1.3 gigabytes big. So we, we gain around 700 megabytes from starting from... 2 to 1 to 3, sorry, 2 gigabyte to 1.3 gigabyte, more or less. So we've done already five desktops and they're all in here. These guys. And there you go. And um, we can now use that knowledge that we've ac ac accumulated. It went all back into Arch Linux B. It went back in Arch Linux and an Arch Linux ISO. So building ISOs is the only way to expand your knowledge, basically. So 
when creating this build your own ISO minimal, we found out that we don't want these groups. These groups had to go out. Okay, fine. Um, do we need that driver? Okay, let's try without that driver. Don't think we need that either, and so on. So we have done some changes uh, to our system, and it's spread through from Arch Linux minus um, minimal to Arch Linux B to Arch Linux to D to Arch Linux, right? All the way up, starting from here, the knowledge we acquired here went all the way in the other ISOs. So that's good. Now, what else did we do? If we scroll up even further, there are some changes in applications. So it's basically the same application, it's just another name today. And okay, that's changed. We have hidden some of our applications. We don't like some of the applications are always sitting there in XFCE and we never click on it, but it's there. It bothers us. So we've made a tutorial how to hide applications and we have hidden uh, quite a few of them. So we don't see them anymore. We've also eliminated or deleted. We do not install these guys anymore. Okay, so new packages. We've worked on Compton.conf and we've also made sure that you have a backup. So we have a new Compton in place, new configuration, and next to it will be standing a backup file, just in case, and to, for comparison and to learn and so on. So here are all the elements we decided to hide away. There were normally three URXVT guys. There's just one now. Electron, we don't need it. We, it comes with Atom and so on. A lot of things that we just really don't need. Improved our scripting a little bit more. Article Linux B. New Conky. And um, what else? Hidden packages again. Compton. So if you have problems with, um, it's not jitter, it's uh, imaging problems. How do you say it again in English? So. Then you can change the Compton.conf and you can set it either to GLX or XRender and see if that helps for you. So here are all these group packages that we decided to forget about group packages. Let's go for detail. And then when in detail, you can say, don't install this one, don't install that one, don't install that one. So that's a better approach than working with groups. And here we see all the stuff that went out, removed packages. Also programs like Shotwell, Mousepad, Qt5 tools are out. Some things are in, so there were new things that we say, okay, let's add these in because of support. And some minor stuff like new aliases, I've explained in another tutorial, variety, a new update, hello icons and so on, some fixes for awesome and some cleanup stuff. And of course, a skull, why not? A skull puke. So if you type in point and slash skull puke, this is what you get. All right, new. And of course, very important, if you want to have the wallpaper from Sapycon or if you want to build your own ISO, you need to have these guys here. So I've now explained it in two videos. So it's important that you follow the procedure to add um, a new repo, the repo for the wallpapers of Submicron, and we've changed this line as well. So we are using now two um, mirrors. We have GitHub and we have another URL and we'll get two, three more in the future. And I can just update this package up here. Update this, you download it and you get other servers as backup procedure. So it's good. It's very, very, very good. Means for all the Arch Linux B builders, that we're not rely solely on GitHub. So when uh, GitHub says, no, nope, can't uh, deliver you the package, then everything stops and, and we have to build it again. So now we get the second line kicks in, the third uh, server, the support server, and so on. We have some mirrors, some design stuff, and that's it basically. So it's a lot of development. Uh, it went, it's, it's actually going into the engine of the machine. It's not uh, the cover. It's not uh, the look of, of uh, Arch Linux has changed. It's the inside of uh, Arch Linux has changed. And because of 
our idea that we had, hey, um, what would happen if I would decide to build a minimal ISO? What would I need? Then we found out the group packages and the Calamares elements and the XF86 video drivers, and we evaluated all of that. So we really ran into, um, well, the engine itself. And we learned a lot and we are happy to share you the results. 13th October, we'll find and uh, we'll upload everything. But again, um, you can build the ISO today. There's no need to wait for SourceForge. It's just a way to, well, postpone your pleasure, I suppose, your fun. Just say, I want to have Article Linux ISO, no changes, follow the tutorial, or I want to have Article Linux D with changes, or Article Linux B, Cinnamon, or the minimal. Let's try a minimal one. All you have to do is follow what says here. This is the result, what you get. Here it says min, right, minimal. And um, all you have to do is git clone, run a script. It's always the same. This is the content of the packages. And then you go, uh, you, you go away and let the machine work and the ISO will have been built when you come back. So that was uh, September, 2018. Enjoy our clinics and um, again, thank you for your support, your donations um, made it easy to decide to invest in our clinics B because it's worth to have a uh, separate website. That's one. And we've also bought our clinics ISO for phase six. It's gone, not coming 2018. I'm sure of that. But once we've more knowledge about building ISOs, then uh, we can get started on that one. But all the elements that we think are already for uh, well, ISO builders, well, it goes on here. All right, uh, I would say have fun. I think I've said it all. Enjoy your systems, enjoy Arco Linux, and learn, enjoy, and have fun. All right.